Happy New Year. Let's start this year really strong with an awesome business plan that you can copy and paste yourself to create a really awesome extra income. We're going to be talking about selling stickers with print on demand, but not just that. I'm going to show you in this video how you can scale that business so that you're not just making tiny profits that stickers usually get us. The aim here is to test for free, see what's working, and then increase the profit margin of those items that are working. But we've gotten ahead of ourselves. Let's start at the very beginning. And don't worry, I'm going to make this really easy so that you can follow along and literally copy and paste. We are going to start with ChatGPT because there are so many people out there who A, don't have the time to create cool sticker designs and B, don't have the capability of creating cool sticker designs. And I want everyone to be able to take advantage of this. And I, I know AI isn't the answer all the time, but sometimes we can use it for our own gain and it's really, really powerful. So this is ChatGPT. I have the paid version, and with the paid version, you can choose ChatGPT 4 or 3.5. We're obviously going to pick 4. Now, what you want to do here is on the left-hand side, you can see Explore. You want to click Explore, and then you want to scroll down. I've got it here saved already, but you want to scroll down and pick Sticker Wiz. And what this is is basically a ChatGPT mode where you can put something in, a prompt in, and it will make a sticker for you. And it's been pre-programmed to always make a sticker for you. Let me give you an example. So, panda skiing with a yellow coat. Panda skiing wearing a yellow coat. Let's try that one. Let's just see what it does. Now, what it should do is it should make what looks like a sticker with the white background, sometimes the black background with a perfect border that we can just copy and paste and start selling. Let's have a look. Here we go. And you can see here is the die cut sticker design of a panda skiing wearing a yellow coat. If you're happy with this design, ready to start. Okay, so we can click this and we can download it. Really, really simple. Let's, let's try another one because let's, let, let's make it more detailed. So a really detailed cute sloth skiing and wearing a red jacket let's see what that looks like okay so i wouldn't say this is much more detailed but it's a bit more detailed so you can see just from the hair and actually it's it's quite detailed you've got really good shading around the the sloth and just the different colors and different textures you can see here this is a really, really cool sticker, and I think I might actually buy this for one of my skiing friends. Uh, but it's brilliant, right? And what we can do here is we can actually click on this, and we can click this eye, and it will show us the exact prompt. So we could copy and paste this prompt and put it into mid-journey, if you prefer using mid-journey over chat GPT, whatever, whatever you want. Now, let me try one more that isn't related to skiing, just so we can see what else this can do, and then we'll move on to step two. Mountain biker in the mountains. Let's just see what that does. And you can see how I'm not actually saying make a sticker or do anything in particular. I'm literally just saying what I want it to make and it knows to make a sticker. It's brilliant. It's just so cool. And here is the mountain biker sticker. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of this. I wish it was perfectly round. I don't know why it's gone down over here, uh, this bottom bit. But again, you can see it's really, really detailed. It's really good. And this is something that would have taken me, you know, a few hours to draw on the iPad. So it makes sense to start using this. Now, what we want to do here is this is the beginning stage. And there's a couple of things that we have to actually uh, take into account. You want to focus on trends. You want to try and focus on super trends, which I'm going to be talking about in a future video. I've made it. It's brilliant. You'll see. But we want to try and focus on things that will get us sales to kickstart this whole business idea. And then on top of that, you want to research what is actually working on Etsy, on Amazon, on Pinterest, on Google, see what is working out there and don't reinvent the wheel. Just make it a slightly different, don't copy other people's things, but make it slightly different, if not better, and then sell them yourself. So you want to start with just creating 30 or 40 different stickers using ChatGPT. You then want to download each of these stickers just by clicking the download button. 
Now, if you want to edit this sticker further, you can turn it into an SVG and you can do that online or you can do that using My Designs. And by turning it into an SVG, it will allow you to edit it in Figma or Illustrator. And that's where you can change the colors, you can change the shape, you can delete things, you can add things, you can do whatever you want. You can basically manipulate this design as much as you want. But if you wanna just download this and then straight upload it, you do what you want to do. So once we have a handful of sticker designs, we then want to open an Etsy shop. Now, I said this whole thing is free and it kind of is except for one factor. When creating an Etsy listing, it's going to cost you 20 cents each listing. Now I can offer you 40 free listings. The link will be down below in the description. I wish I could offer you more than 40 free listings, but it's the only promotional offer that they currently have but 40 free listings should be good enough to get you going. In terms of branding and making your Etsy shop look fancy, go wild. Honestly, do whatever you want. Maybe you can make all of your stickers into a, a, a cover photo on Canva and put that in there. You can do whatever you want. Really, it's not that important at the beginning. We're just trying to upload some sticker designs to Etsy and get ourselves started. So what you want to do is once you've got your Etsy store, you know, you now, and you've got your stickers, obviously, you now need to connect it to a printing partner. Now a printing partner such as Printify or Printful or Gelato, or whatever, we're going to just say Printify here because I've started using them recently and I'm, I'm really liking them. And I'm going to make a few videos on them in 2024 just because, well, I'll, I don't want to ruin anything, but they're really, really good. So let's say you connect with Printify and you upload all your designs to Printify and you connect your Printify to Etsy. What that will do is when you get a sale, Printify will automatically print and ship your product out to the customer. So you don't have to do anything manually yourself. There's no cost to you. You will get a sale, you will pay for that item and then they will ship it out. The main expense is that 20 cents to create an Etsy listing. You need to take full advantage of those 40 free listings. So create 40 stickers and upload them all to Etsy, but make sure that you really spend time on each individual listing. You want the images to be amazing. You want them to stand out compared to everyone else on Etsy. You want your title to be captivating and good. You want to have tags. You want a description that has a good amount of keywords, but also is convincing for a customer to read it and think, I want to buy this. Okay. You've got to really, really work hard on your listings to get sales because at the end of the day, that is what a customer will be seeing to decide whether or not they want to buy. Now, I want to just quickly tell you a little trick around the 40 free listings cap would be to have multiple stickers on one listing. So one listing, you can have, let's say 10 stickers with a drop down menu and people can select what stickers they want and your main image can be all 10 stickers. And this is just like a little trick that A, allows you to have 10 different stickers on one listing, but B, and the main benefit here is it encourages people to purchase multiple items from you. So rather than they just land on a listing that sells one sticker, they buy that sticker and they move on. If they can see 10 different stickers and they can select a different sticker, add to cart, select a different sticker, add to cart without having to leave the listing, they will end up buying many more stickers from you and your your individual customer value will go up significantly. Once you've uploaded all of your products and everything is ready to go on Etsy, you're ready to start getting sales, share your listings with family and with friends just to kickstart things, to kickstart those sales. A couple of sales really helps the algorithm decide where you should be with Etsy. Now, if you can also post on groups or, or anywhere really, your stickers and only where it's allowed, don't start spamming everywhere. If you can post on groups and stuff and get more sales that way, even better. Now, here's the fun part. This is where we're going to start scaling our sticker business. And when I say scaling our sticker business, you might be thinking, how much money can a sticker business actually make? Well, let me tell you, people are making 20, 30, 40, thousand dollars every single month from their sticker businesses. It's a ludicrous amount of money. And I'm not saying that you're going to make that. It's very, very difficult. None of this is just easy. Let's just start printing money. And I don't want that to come across. I don't want to come across as if I'm sounding like that. All business is hard. You know, this is going to take a lot of consistency, a lot of hard work. That's just life. But the potential is 
huge. So don't forget that. So when it comes to scaling, let me show you how you can do that and increase your profit margins drastically. Currently, we are fulfilling our orders through Printify, which is brilliant because it doesn't cost us any money. They handle everything. We just have to upload the design and just kind of not do anything else. But there isn't much profit there and a sticker can cost you over a dollar. And when you're thinking about that and thinking what you have to charge to make some money back, the profit margin is absolutely tiny. Now, if we did it ourselves, a sticker would cost less than half of that. The issue is we don't want to test the waters with our own money. We need to make sure that it works first. When you see a sticker taking off and start getting sales frequently, you want to then switch to fulfilling it yourself. This will, of course, incur some startup capital, you know, a printer, some paper, shipping things out, the, the packaging, whatever you need to send it out in an envelope, to be honest, it's just a sticker, that will cost you to start with. But you will soon see that because of the increase in your profit margin, you will very quickly make your money back. Now, I would suggest waiting for two or three stickers to actually start taking off and getting frequent sales before you go down this route, because if only one sticker is taking off, it will take you quite a bit of time to start recouping that investment of a printer and all the other elements. Unless, of course, you already have those things, in which case, brilliant. But if you don't, wait for like two or three stickers, they'll take off, you'll then invest in a printer, you'll halve your 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 fulfillment costs and your printing costs and your item costs, you'll ship them out to your customer and you'll see you'll be getting a lot more money. The idea here is just to use print on demand to test the market and you know, test the waters, see what is getting sales, which stickers take off, which stickers fail, and it allows you to test for basically free, you know, obviously you've got the 40 free listings, but it basically allows you to test this business idea without having to spend any money except for your own time. So that is this sticker business. And talking about 2024, let's try and make some goals this year. Let's try and hit some incredible targets, whether it's this business or another business, let's try and stick with it for the entire year. Even if it's just 30 minutes a day, 366 days from now, you will have a fully fledged business. You will be so happy because of it. And by the way, it's a leap year, so you get one extra day. So it's not 365, like I said, 366 days. Let's take advantage of that extra day. This year is going to be absolutely amazing. I am so incredibly excited to see what everyone does. Let me know in the comments down below. Let's kind of stay in contact. I want to help you with your business. I want to I want to come along for the journey and make sure that this is the best year of your life. Help you stay consistent, help you with ideas, help you scale your business, whatever it is. Let's make 2024 the biggest and best year of all of our lives. Happy New Year, everyone.